Hello everyone, my name is Ajay Singh and I'm a third year software engineering international student at the Thompson Rivers University. Today I will be presenting a non-linear attitude filter on the special orthogonal group 3. Today I will address and discuss two main topics that is the fast adaptation and the robustness. We will start by introducing the attitude problem after which we will move on to the problem statement and formulation. Then I will present the proposed filter strategy, which will include the artificial bee colony along with the optimal fuzzy tuning of the non-linear attitude filter. After that, we will move on to the results and discussion. And further, we will conclude with a summary. Attitude problem is considered a major subtask in the field of robotics and is heavily seen in automated and semi-automated applications such as unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs along with ground vehicles, underwater vehicles, satellites, and rotating radars, and many other such applications. Our main objective in this application is to end with a successful control mission. In order to achieve a successful control mission, we need to first find the true value of the attitude or the rotational matrix of the rigid body. However, we can't get the true value of the attitude because we normally get the attitude information through a set of sensor measurements. Hence, our objective is to record and use this set of measurements taken by the sensors and then pass those values through the filter that in turn gives us the estimate of the attitude which we will hopefully which will hopefully be extremely close to the true value of the attitude by the end of this process. Now, we will present the equation of motion of any rigid body and moving in a three-dimensional space such as a satellite or rotating radar. Here, r dot is equal to the r skew symmetric of omega. And as mentioned above, our objective is to find the estimate of the rotational matrix or the attitude which is r hat, and we want it to be very close to the true value of the attitude which is donated as r. Now let's talk about the attitude control problem. Now, this problem requires two main things. That is, the desired orientation of the rigid body along with the true orientation of the rigid body. And again, as mentioned before in our work, we will develop a filter that relies on the measurements to be filtered out to get an estimate of the attitude, and this estimate will be extremely close to the true value of the attitude. So here, we see the attitude problem, along with which, in our presentation, we see a block diagram of the presentation. So our observer design is similar to equation number two, which is as follows. According to the stability analysis, if we started with this particular potential function, we will get V dot, which will, will be equal to this particular equation. And this shows that the observer design is stable only if k is positive. Now let's move on to the proposed filter strategy. We will first mention the artificial bee colony by presenting a flowchart which is as follows. We will now move on to the optimal fuzzy tuning of the non-linear attitude filter which will be demonstrated by this table which illustrates the fuzzy membership function. And here is the post function, which is divided into two main parts. First part being the transient time, which is chosen between 0 to 1 seconds. Second part being the steady state time, which is chosen between 4 and 14 seconds. For the input membership function, our objective is to define the value for k1, k2, k3, all the way to k11, and the values for which are bounded between these parameters or constants on the left and these parameters and constants on the right. Now, we have chosen these parameters based on a set of trials. Hence, these are mainly based on trial and error. 
Here's our output membership function. Our objective is to optimize K12, K13, K14, all the way to K22 that are bounded between these constants on the left and between these constants on the right. Now again, these, all, these constants are also chosen on trial and error, such that the proposed scheme is similar to the block diagram, this block diagram. Now let's go to our results and discussions. Consider the following set of measurements where B represents the bias, N represents the noise component. Again, B represents the bias and N represents the noise component. Over here, we have the value for our noise. And over here, we have the value for our bias. We will also consider the following set of initializations in order to evaluate the robustness of the proposed filter. We have chosen these two sets of initializations where the true attitude is equal to the identity matrix and the estimate of the attitude is equal to this matrix over here. And here is our optimized input membership function using our proposed strategy where VS stands for very small, S stands for small, M stands for medium, L stands for large, and VL stands for very large. And here we see the optimized output membership function, where again, VS is very small, small, medium, large, and very large. Let's talk about our simulation results. We will first talk about our attitude error, and then move on to the tracking performance. As you can see here, we started with a large attitude error during our initialization, and the error was then reduced to very close to zero, which was our objective all along. Here we have the tracking performance, where we see the green center line, which represents the true attitude of the true orientation, whereas the estimate is represented with this blue solid line. Here we see a strong tracking capability of the proposed attitude filter. Over here, we see that phi represents the roll angle, theta represents the pitch angle, and then over here, epsilon, represents the yaw angle. In the summary, we will conclude that a non-linear attitude filter was proposed and the proposed approach tunes with the adaptation gain online and numerical results show fast convergence of the attitude error, where we went from a large error approximately close to, to approximately close to zero. And thank you for being a part of this presentation.